Maybe Johnny's got some sort of partnership or business with the bite. Could be. What are your working f uh, theories? It's gotta be mutually beneficial somehow. You might be onto something, I'm not sure. Alright, I think the information I've milked out of you should be enough to get me into the bite. Damn, thanks, man. You got it, Howard. It's no trouble. A welcome distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bite, you all, all you gotta do is ask. Um, what have you got? Where to start? I could talk about the kind of place it is. What people do there and some rumors I've heard about their ownership. What do you want to hear? So the place fairly high bro, respectable? You think, and they certainly keep us appearances. And what's the, what's behind the facade? I'm not 100% cer certain, but based on stuff I've heard, I've heard drug distribution. Also, whatever they use the second floor for. And um, drug but risky could they get? Oh God, could the whole, could get the whole thing shut down? What's on the second floor? Considering who owns the place, they're probably safe. And I imagine if any authority stirred up trouble, they they'd have somehow someone to throw under the bus. Blech. My tongue, my tongue is really like feels really uh, strange. <laughs> What's on the second floor? Not entirely silent. Maybe gambling, sex work, private parties. I haven't paid much paid much attention. What's the draw? What do people do at the bite? Who owns the place? I gotta go. Okay, who who owns the place? Owners of Bloodworth. So, lots of rumors floating around the whole ordeal. Bloodworth sounds familiar. What's the story there? Prime family. Had a lot of friends in high places. Then the family head up and dies. And the shit hits the fan. Her, her ended up dead too. In the aftermath. And the current owner of the bite is a relative? Yeah, she was a cr cousin or something. Wow, what is she up to now? People say she is taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. What's the draw? What do people do at the bite? Well, they've got good music, music often life, also full restaurant besides the bar, but that's all on the first floor. I gotta go. But that's some great intel, Larry. Try to keep my ear on the ground. Okay, hopefully my target is there. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, so... Let's go over there. So it's really interesting. They're doing strange stuff. Okay. 14.99 for trim. What madman would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Well, true. That's what he says. Okay. So I think it's the scribble. Scribble. Um, I've talked to before. So let's head to him. Scribble. Scribble. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Me. Wallace. Howard. Nice, nice meeting you. How are you Johnny? Fitting name for a grown ass man in a trench coat. What do you need? Uh, do you got monkey butt? Got chef shatter fang? Can you get me into the bite? Depends. Why? I want that stanky shit. Heard they got it there. I'm the detective. Ah, I want the stanky shit. Don't know what you're talking about, man. Sniff your um, uh, armpits, maybe? <laughs> Cut the bullshit, I know they dear monkey butt. Yeah. The fuck? Who told you that? A friend. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. <laughs> Kid, I know I'm being bore. But I really need your help. Please, could you lend me a hand? Just leave me through the bouncer, is all I'm asking. I don't have time for this, I need to get into the bite, you take me there. Yeah, what's in it for me, you cocky ass? 
I might consider consider not turning you to the cops. Not much, just amazing feeling to get when you say, ah, chill, listen, I'm a detective, my target is in there. If you help me now, I might be used for you too late. Yeah, okay. What, are you serious? Prove it. I don't need to prove anything, but I might consider you not turning to the cops if you help me out. You feel me? What the fuck did you just say? Feel me? Yeah. Fuck you. I get you, in, but I hope you overdose and get in eaten, get eaten alive. By Pharaoh Jeeves. Meet at the entrance right after you. Nice. Okay, so we did it. It's a bit, well, the harsh way, but he called me cocky, what, cocky ass and old fart, so he earns nothing better than that. Bouncer. Screw I will. So, talk to the bouncer, what are you waiting for? Bouncer. Here's Johnny. Hey Johnny, where have you been? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks, go inside. Oh. New objective. Okay. Find out if Green was in the bite tonight and where he might have gone next. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. All a little too high and for my taste. Re Renny. Well, you're unusual. Sorry? You're unusual means uh, you come with a story. I love a good story. Renny Wilson. Howard Lotte. Also, Wallace, please, pleased to meet you. Uh, now I can be honest. Um, that's a fake name. You, you're too young for Howard. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names and you're projecting, projecting onto me. Interesting theory, but I can back up my, uh, back mine up. See, business cards don't lie. Could be an overload ruse. Okay. Ah, okay now. Investigative journalist? It's a living, usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renny Wilson. I see you around. Have you seen an auto gentleman here tonight? No, but only I sat down a minute ago. Got it. I was lovely to meet you, Renny Wilson. Goodbye. Colby. Oh. <laughs> hey there. You're here for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see you alive, finally! I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Not quite, I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an auto gentleman? Here's his photo. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm probably a bit bi biased, but yeah, she's great. I'm actually looking here for someone. Well, I'm not very familiar with the bites or patrons, but I maybe can help. We are looking for. I'm looking for another gentleman. Here's his photo. I think I saw him walking earlier tonight. Did you see where he went? Or was his head green? Did he have a briefcase with him? Thanks, Ginger. I saw him come and talk to uh, to the Afghan lady in the jade color. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dress. Was it? Was it? Uh, was his head green? Did he have a briefcase with him? Thanks and enjoy the show. Oh yes. And so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Thanks and enjoy the show. Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? Listen, I'm looking for someone. Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. 
wanna dance with me? Hmm? Sorry, no. Can you at least answer a couple questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Oh ma. Fuck. Ingrid. Oh. Clarissa. Ah, there's the second. S s fuck floor, floor. Hey, honey. Name's Ingrid. Can I help you for something? I'm just looking for a friend. Maybe I've seen him. He's an otter. About as tall as a tall as a yen. Maybe you haven't seen a uh, haven't seen any about tonight. Maybe he's late. He wears a pair of square head shaped glasses. Sorry, honey, I haven't seen your friend. Maybe he's late. We're supposed to meet here. Where are you supposed to meet here? This is the bite on Granville, right? Yeah, Jess loves this place. From what he said, he's a regular. Maybe you know him, Jess Green. I don't think so. I've never heard of him. That's strange. His co-worker steals him because he spends all of the ti all of his of his, his time here. Well, though I don't exactly keep tabs on bar customers. That's out of my pur purview. What should uh, what would you recommend I do while I wait to see if I just show up? Why don't you get a drink, honey? Could you either sit on a table and wait for Kira or go on straight and ask t uh, ask boy at the bar? Thanks for your help. I keep that in mind. Goodbye. Thank you. Do you want to wor do you work here? Because otherwise, I'm sorry I've made you my tour guide. You could say I'm part of the staff. Uh, you're an heir of uh, you're an heir of hostess. About you, haven't I seen you break guess? I'm sort of hostess, but not for the bar. If not not for the bar, then what? Sorry, Annie, I can't share that sort of information. It's an exclusive thing. Exclusive, exclusive. Exclusivity thing. God, it makes me. Uh, it makes member feel special. Um, what makes a man privy to those juicy exclusive secrets? Chiefly, how loyal a customer he is. Though there's also consideration put upon the death of his pockets. Um. Sounds promising. I'd urge you to visit us with uh, regularity. I can ensure you that your loyalty will be rewarded. Make sure to just do that. Seeing around. That's good to hear, but can I have a hint of my loyalty? Yeah, what? Sorry, honey. I like my job and I want to keep it. Okay. It's she's really... Not pity-minded. Well, I I don't know the the word for it. Um, stubborn. She's really stubborn. Um, you look a little lost. That's obvious. I'm exactly where I need to be. Oh, you're so confident. Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Do really? Uh, do I really seem like the type? I wouldn't dream of it. Just trying to break out the ro old routine. I'd have uh, Hank show. Uh, I'd have Hank show you the door. Generally speaking, troublemakers are bad for business. Guess I have to put off troublemaking at least till the rain stops. Hypothetically, of course, I'm on my best behavior. I promise. Oh, your stakes on the state of business? I do. What kind of stakes? I should formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. I must say you've got great ambience and lovely music. Oh, if I'd known I would be more watchful of my manners. I've heard that name before. Nice fa finally meeting you, Miss Bloodworth. No need. If I wanted you to, uh, I would make 
I would have made myself known sooner. And to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. Pleasure is mine, Wallace. What do you do? I work at publishing house. Do you enjoy reading? Quite. How can I help you, Wallace? Say, do you have any leisure tips for a good like uh, for a guy like me? I could arrange. B uh, I could arrange. Oh, I could arrange boy here to make something up for you. Some folks say that some uh, that food from our chief is to die for. I'll just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. What brought you here in the first place? I was looking for another gentleman, Jeremy. I'm actually here to meet up with a friend. I heard you provide more exciting services. Ah. Uh, no, we have to stay focused. Is that right? Would lie to you. Hmm, who's your friend? If he was here tonight, I would would have seen him. He goes by Jeremy. Last name Green. Otto. This is she actually. Lovely raccoon lady I recently met. No, I want to... And why are you meeting Jeremy at the bar tonight? Just for drinks. I'm not free to say. We have lots to talk about. You're lying to me. Why should I lie? I'm telling the truth. We co-workers and we agree to meet there. What's the problem? Mr. Wallace. Wallace, if that's your real name. You're doing a terrible job being coy. And, this, uh, and it's just in a bad taste for my establishment. I would have to ask you to leave. Too bad, I'm going to meet him outside then. I don't understand. I'd rather say. I don't understand, I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, darling. That's how the work works. world works. Sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you. Perhaps we will see each other again. Have a great night. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Fuck! That didn't work as I wanted. Clarissa Bloodworth, she's hiding, she's hiding somewhere. Green is there. I just need to find another way in. Ah! Maybe? I can talk. Intercom. Ah. Where have you been? We expected you three hours ago. Wrong into traffic cars. I came as fast as I could. Oh, sorry, press the buzzer. Is that a prank or way? Okay. Oopsie. Again, okay. We have four packages ready for pickup. I load them in the truck speedily. Oh, sorry, I pressed the buzzer next. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me in. Please go away. I'm tired. Oops. Are <laughs> you dead? <laughs> we expected you five hours ago. No, don't. I'm gone. Oh, fuck. No! Oh, I failed. Mm. Oh, my God. What you looking at? Nothing. Just wondering why you're here. That's all. Are you alright? I don't... I don't want trouble, I just need to get in the building here, there, nothing, nothing, I'm sorry. Ah ha, ah ha ha ha, it's evil, you know. You're better off staying away. Why do you say that? You mean it's haunted? I know, but I have to go in there anyway. In any way, in any Why? What they do to you? Long story. Can you help me get in there? You're really aiming to get into that ditch? Yeah, you know how? Maybe, I mean not really. Try to go to the door. But damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just wanna talk to you. Wait, what code? I mesmerized it. Memori me memorized it. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. 
my daughter's in that filthy they won't let me talk to her say she doesn't talk to me but they're lying I know it they just want to keep it all hushed up like what's she doing in there I keep an eye out for her if I get in what does she look like Ray four names Rosie. No name. No names Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. He's he just ah, she's just turned twenty. See, didn't want to be kind, be a kid anymore. Oh, if if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this ditch to the ground. I do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told him, sure. Do you know any other way in? No, I've heard voices up on the roof. But how'd you get there? Alright, thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in there. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please, take care. Can you... can I... I would be really excited if I could uh, save her, but okay. Break in. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There's a weird looking record recording device on the dashboard. The compo compartment seems to be unlocked. Open the compartment. You can open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or all checks. Go through the newspa new newspapers. Look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Sidder Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is, su purchase is supposed to be happening today. Look at the newspapers. Two newspapers for September oc and October. They don't look like any was, uh, was reading through that. Read the headlines. Epidemic continu continues to flick first day. G's may be spreading disease next, okay. Victoria's attack on the wall is 3D management with friend is oh, I'm on dead. What the f I can't really Oh uh, my god, sorry. My mouth is just blah, lagging. <laughs> okay, close the compartment. Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device, hardwired into the truck dashboard. Probably set for surveillance. There are several tapes that you can insert and listen to the recordings. Select today's tape. Okay, you insert today's tape. Last recorded conserva conservation is a mayor taking some to someone to in or on the intercom. Where have you been? I've expected you one hour ago. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Select tapes with dates from the invoices in your paper. Where have you been? We've expected you two hours. I can't continue working like this. Stanley lost the truck keys again. Okay. The light figures that's all I can f Okay, leave. Maybe there's s there are some several codes in there. Can I please use No, please. What? Why can't I use the intercom? Oh no. Have I um, failed? Oh fuck. Can I go again there? Maybe the intercom is working now? No, it isn't working. Shit! Ah, I failed. Ah, I should have. Mm. <sighs> hmm.
Okay, so on the rooftop there's maybe a possibility. No, there's a ladder. Hmm. Leave. Ah, uh, what can I do now? So, f oh, I can talk to Radavi. I think he's in there, but not at the bar. No luck finding proof of the fair yet. I got kicked out. Oh, how hard? How do you manage that? Doesn't matter. So, they use the back door for deliveries, right? No, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me that you had no first-hand experience with mom with monkey bugged. But, but people don't change, Larry. It doesn't matter. I need to get in. I need to. Larry, what if, what if it's the case? Something is wrong and I need to find out. Jeez, I could recommend against it, but you do, you... Eh, but you do you. So any other ways in? All right, all right. The truck right there is ju has just uh, just arrived, and some dudes entered through the back door. Also, I hear voices coming from the roof. They must have a rooftop door. Tell me about the back door. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get on the roof? Bribe the security. Is there a fire escape? You you could give me a lift. No, there's no fire escape and the bite is too high. There Are there any smaller structures you could cli climb first? The press stand. Wow, there. That could work. You could start with it, then go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Boo is kind of a um, dick nugget. That's the most accurate uh, description of Booth I've heard in my life. Is he tough? He seems kinda neutral to me. Um, weird, maybe he's gone blind and didn't register as a raccoon. Anyway, I should, I, I should suggest you talking to him and see if he's up to it. Tell me about the back door. Remind me about the rooftop entrance. Thanks for helping you. Uh, thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. They had to have a little intercom box, so you ring, they pick up, and then if you somehow they're waiting for the, they bust you in. Uh, okay, I have no idea. Blast code. Okay. Remind me of the back door that are people and using intercom. Okay. Okay. So that's it. So I have to ask. Him, the press stand. Where's the press stand? Huh? Where's that? Larry. Both pressed and and make my way other over the rooftop seem okay. Both pressed and okay. So was it? What's here, but no feminine sons. Boost pressed, and okay, I have to go maybe right to the right. Ah, oh, this game is so cool, I love it. I already love it, oh, really. Drugstore, electronics. How oh, what? Come over here, boy. You've mistaken me for someone else, officer. Uh, hi, Tony. Hi, I'm in a hurricane. Talk later. Uh, hey, little one. Why are you up to find a job yet? Blah blah blah. If I only cut the bullshit and come on to the forest, I can arrange that. Just ask you 
the poor mama, jeez. Thanks for looking out me, ma'am. But I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you go now. Call your mom, I will. Bye. Quikomart. Foxy Burger. Ah, Booze Press Stand. Alright. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Boo. Uh, boo, I need this for work. What if I could offer something in return? Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little if issue I've been having. I'm almost afraid to ask, but uh, what do you have in mind? You see that hawker over by Mackenzie's? I want him to off uh, Granville. Why him? Wait, who? Consider it done. I won't ask any questions. So, ah, uh, fuck, I forgot what he said. So, what I have to do? I chased that seeds kid of Granville first. So, what I'm in the fucker? So, do I have to run in this direction or what? Ah, what's going on? Well, what? Who do I have to chase? I think I have to make a pause because I'm just a bit tired. Oh. Oh fuck it. are so brutal okay I think I'm going just well so yeah okay boo he's a good kid I greet what must be looked like if So guys, um, I think I'm going to make a break and yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed the episode and we see us next time. Bye.